Kia ora, good evening. The Cancer Society is warning staff shortages at radiology departments across the country could cost lives. News Hub can reveal Middlemore Hospital alone is short of 24 radiographers. And the backlog of patients waiting for CT scans is growing quickly. Nick Truebridge has this exclusive report. Its crippling ED shortages are well known, but now Middlemore Hospital's radiology shortages are in the spotlight. It's causing really real stress in the workplace and real um, consequences to wait lists and getting patients through the system. We're talking about those who work the machines. New data shows Middlemore has 24 full-time equivalent radiographer vacancies to fill, with nine new hires due to start in the coming months. But the union, Apex, estimates the actual need sits at 40 vacancies. That's a problem. An estimated 90% of ED patients are funnelled through the radiology unit. So, yeah, it's, it's really tough out there. And while she says Middlemore is the country's busiest public radiology department, Dr Powell's at pains to point out vacancies across the whole country are high. On average, around 40%. We just haven't kept our complement, the number of staff we should have, up to the ability to meet the demand. Then there's the delays. Despite its best efforts to clear the COVID queue, Middlemore still has 1,444 patients waiting for CT scans, nearly 300 more than the same time in 2019. The Cancer Society says it could cost lives. It's always this uneasy feeling that with every bit of delay, how close uh, are things going to that sort of threshold of, oh, dear me, you know, it is uh, too late. And it's now nigh on impossible for GPs to order scans in the public system, even if they strongly suspect cancer. They have to uh, make a referral to specialist services and the specialist services organising the scan and uh, that introduces more time into the process. But true to form, Minister Andrew Little remains confident in the system. I'm confident that Littlemore is keeping ahead of the, um, the, the more acute need. That's certainly the hope for those facing life or death. Nick Trubridge, News Hub. Well, Nick joins us now. Kia ora, Nick. And what's the Health Minister going to do about this? Yeah, well, we've had a response from Andrew Little this afternoon. Basically, uh, the first thing he says is that radiology professionals are on the green list. That effectively makes it easier for them to get in the into the country, greasing the wheels, I suppose you could call it. Uh, and something else, he's uh, talking about radiologists in this next point, of course. They're the doctors that actually examine, examine the pictures that uh, the radiographers take. Basically, six more of them will be trained each year, but... Uh, uh, Apex who we had in that story, which is of course the union uh, involved in all of this, points out that it takes four to five years for those radiologists to actually come into the workforce. Uh, and one more bit of information we've had this afternoon uh, from Canterbury DHB, or Te Water Canterbury as it's now called, they tell us that they are short 21 radiologists, that is 21 doctors in their radiology department alone. Nick Truebridge, thanks for the update.